a rifle that won't let you miss. It sounds impossible, like something from a science fiction movie, but this is not science fiction. This is real. It is happening right now. This is the future of combat, and it is being built today in Israel. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Imagine you were a soldier. Your heart is pounding. Your hands might be shaking. A target moves quickly between two buildings. You have one shot. You have to make it count. In that moment, everything depends on your skill, your training, and your nerves. But what if the rifle in your hands could take over that final critical moment? What if it could guarantee your shot hits its mark? This is not a dream. Israel has built it. They call it the Smash Fire Control System, and it is changing everything we know about shooting. For thousands of years, the basic idea of a weapon was simple. A person points it, and the person pulls the trigger. Accuracy depended completely on the person. It depended on their eyesight, their steady hand, their calm breathing, and years of practice. Even the best soldiers in the world can miss. Under stress, in bad weather, against a fast-moving target, missing is a part of war. But it is a part that costs lives, wastes ammunition, and can cause terrible mistakes. Now, think about a different idea. What if the weapon itself could help? not just with a better scope, but with a brain. What if the rifle had a tiny computer that could see the target, track it, and know the exact right millisecond to fire? This is what Israeli engineers have created. They looked at the problem of modern combat and asked a simple question. How do we make sure every single bullet does its job? The answer came from a company called Smart Shooter. Based in Israel, a country that faces very real and complex security threats every single day, this company did not set out to build a new rifle. Instead, they built a smart kit. It is a box of advanced technology that you can attach directly to a standard army rifle, like the M4 or the M16 that many soldiers already use. This is important. They did not want to replace all the guns in the army. They wanted to upgrade them to make the existing tools smarter. So, what's in this box? It has a special camera, sensors, and a powerful little computer. When you look through its sight, you see a normal crosshair, but the system is seeing much more. It's using what's called computer vision. This is like the technology that lets a smartphone camera recognize a face, but here it is programmed to recognize a human shape, a vehicle, or a specific target. You, the soldier, pick what you want to shoot. You put the crosshair on it and press a button to lock on. Once you lock on, the magic starts. Even if the target ducks behind a wall and then runs out, the system keeps watching. Its camera and computer track the movement. It is following that target like a hawk. All the while, it is calculating. How far away is it? How fast is it moving, left or right? Is it going up a hill? The computer takes all this information and solves a complex math problem in a tiny fraction of a second. Now, here is the most amazing part. It's all about the trigger. You can try to pull the trigger, but the rifle will not fire. Not yet. The computer is in control. It is waiting. It is waiting for the perfect moment when all its calculations line up, when it is 100% sure that the bullet will hit exactly where you aimed. Only then does it allow the weapon to fire. It physically stops you from making a mistake. It stops you from shooting too early or when the target moves behind cover. This is why people say it is a rifle that says no. It says no to a bad shot. Think about what this means on the battlefield. First, it means almost perfect accuracy. Tests show this system makes soldiers hit their target on the first shot almost every single time, even if they are beginners. This is a huge change. In a normal firefight, thousands of bullets might be fired for every one that actually hits a target. With this system, that ratio changes completely. You might only need one or two bullets per enemy. This saves ammunition, which means soldiers can carry more or stay in a fight longer. Second, it means speed. You don't have to wait for the perfect calm moment holding your breath. The system finds the perfect moment for you. As soon as the target is in the open and the math is right, bang, the shot is taken. This makes engagements faster and more decisive. But why is this so important for Israel? To understand that, you have to understand Israel's security situation. Israel is a small country, often facing threats in very crowded places. Imagine a terrorist taking a hostage in a busy market street, or an enemy fighter hiding in a building full of innocent families. In these situations, a missed shot is not just a miss. It could hit a child. It could start a bigger fire. It could turn a successful operation into a tragedy. 
Israel's military has learned through very hard experience that precision is not just helpful, it is a moral duty. They need tools that let them stop a threat without hurting anyone else. The smash system is built for this. It gives a soldier the ability to be surgical, to take that one clean shot that ends the threat and nothing else. This technology comes from a real need to protect lives, both the soldier's life and the lives of innocent people around them. Some people hear AI rifle and get scared. They think of movies where robots decide who to kill. This is a very important point to understand. The Smash system is not a robot soldier. It does not have a mind of its own. It cannot search the battlefield. It cannot choose targets. Only a human soldier can do that. The human must always decide who the enemy is and give the order to engage. The AI's only job is to make sure that when the human gives the order, the bullet goes exactly where it is supposed to. It is a tool for restraint. It actually gives the commander more control, not less. Let's talk about the soldier using it. Does this turn a warrior into just a button pusher? Absolutely not. In fact, the soldier's job becomes more important, not less. The machine handles the twitch of the finger, the tiny shake in the aim, but the soldier must do everything else. They must move through the dangerous area. They must communicate with their team. They must understand the full situation, where the enemy is, where friends are, where civilians might be. They must make the big, hard decision to shoot or not to shoot. The AI just helps them succeed once that decision is made. It is a partnership. The human provides the judgment. The machine provides the perfect aim. This partnership makes a single soldier far more powerful. In military terms, this is called a force multiplier. A small team of four or five soldiers equipped with these smart systems can do the work of a much larger group. They can be more effective, safer, and faster. For a country like Israel, which does not have a massive population for a huge army, this kind of technology is a game changer. It lets them be stronger with fewer people. The world is watching. Other countries see what Israel is doing. Special forces units from many nations are already testing and buying the smash system. Why? Because the advantage is clear. Who wouldn't want their soldiers to hit their target every time? Who wouldn't want to save ammunition and avoid tragic mistakes? This Israeli invention is setting a new standard. It is showing that the next generation of infantry weapons will not just be about bigger bullets or faster firing rates. They will be about intelligence. They will be about precision. This is just the beginning. The technology in the Smashbox, the cameras, the computers get smaller, better, and cheaper every year. Soon, this kind of smart system might be on every rifle in advanced armies. The skill of sharpshooting, which took years to master, might become something a computer can give to any soldier in a matter of days. This changes the rules of the game. It changes how armies train, how they fight, and how they plan their missions. But it also raises big questions for the future. If every soldier has a rifle that never misses, what does warfare look like? It might mean fights are shorter and more decisive. It might mean soldiers can take risks they could not take before because they trust their weapons so completely. It also means that armies without this technology will be at a terrible disadvantage. It could create a bigger gap between high-tech militaries and everyone else. For Israel, this is part of a bigger story. Israel has learned that it cannot always compete by having more soldiers or bigger tanks. Instead, it competes by having better ideas, by being smarter, by using technology to solve difficult problems. The Smash system is a perfect example. It came from a real need for precision in crowded urban streets. Israeli engineers took that need and built a world-leading solution. This is how Israel defends itself, not just with strength, but with innovation. So what is the final takeaway? We are witnessing a quiet revolution. The humble rifle, the basic tool of the infantry soldier for centuries has just gotten a brain. It has evolved from a simple tool that amplifies a soldier's strength to a smart partner that amplifies a soldier's skill and judgment. This change is happening now. It is not in a lab somewhere. It is in the hands of soldiers on real missions. The Smash system proves that the future of war is not just about explosions and noise. It is about information, calculation, and control. It is about making violence, when it must happen, more precise and more limited. That is a powerful idea. It is an idea born from the hard lessons of a country that has lived on the front line for a long time. Israel needed a way to be both strong and careful, and they built it.
This journey from a simple idea make every bullet count to a system that can track a target and control a trigger shows us where technology is going. It is moving closer to the individual soldier, it is giving them superhuman abilities, and it's forcing everyone to think deeply about how we use these powerful new tools. If you want to stay on top of these incredible changes to understand how technology is reshaping power and conflict around the world, you are in the right place. This is what we do here at War Tech Sound. We break down the tech that is changing our world. If you found this look into Israel's smart rifle interesting, please let us know. Hit the like button. It helps us a lot. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. We have new videos every week digging into the weapons, drones, and systems that define modern security. And most important, Importantly, we want to hear what you think. What does a future where rifles never miss look like to you? Is it a safer world where soldiers can avoid tragic mistakes? Or is it a more dangerous world where conflict becomes too easy and too clean? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Thank you for watching.